In this week's video, I visit a cat station to get my A-liner weighed. Many people misunderstand a trailer's dry weight and underestimate the weight of the cargo they carry. Knowing your trailer weight is vitally important to staying safe on the road. Join us in this brand new video from Golden Canine Campers. Hey everyone, Daryl here again. So today, we're going to visit a cat station where I'm going to weigh my trailer plus my vehicle. Every RV owner should really know what the gross combined weight rating is of their vehicle and trailer. You should also know what the tongue weight is and what the overall trailer weight of your trailer is when you're fully loaded and ready to go camping. One of the other things that this will allow me to do is compare the A-liner real weight versus the actual weight on a cat station. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and hitch up and I'll see you at the cat station. All right, so I'm at a certified cat scale. So the location is number 581. I'm gonna try to get my vehicle weighed. So I've got my RAV4 Prime. I've got my A-liner trailer. So now I'm gonna do the little cat scale, weigh my truck. So now, so I'm gonna record this on my phone. So um, let me go ahead and hit the weigh my truck app. And I've already put all the information in. So got my credit card number and all that stuff already in there. And um, now I just have to basically just type in the location number, which is 581. So let me go ahead and do that. Done and accept. Okay, so now it's communicating with the scale equipment. So it asks me for my company, my tractor, my trailer, and I'm gonna click accept. And it wants me to pay $13 and I'm gonna accept that. See what happens. <laughs> this is my first time doing this. And I got a couple of truckers behind me, so. Um, okay, so my drive axle is, or my steer, steer axle is 5,160 pounds and my drive axle is 2,020 pounds. So for a gross of 7,180 pounds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward. And now I need to um, unhitch my trailer and then go back through again, uh, just with my tow vehicle. Gotta figure out someplace to park here. There's a lot of trucks. So anyway, so yeah, I couldn't really park anywhere in there. So, cause it costs like $21 to park. So I'm just gonna go home and unhitch and then come back and do a reway. And that'll give me my vehicle weight uh, minus the hitch weight. And so then I'll know what basically my, my tongue weight of the vehicle is, as well as what my overall trailer weight. So that'll be cool. Okay, so I'm back at the uh, cat scale and um, doing a reway. So when I typed in my number, which is the 581, um, it actually came up and asked me if I want to do first way or reway. So I'm going to click reway and I'm going to accept it. And it's going to only charge me 350, which is great. Communicates to the scale. And so I'm just weighing my vehicle now and everything's exactly the same, except now I just have just my vehicle. And so the differences basically will be the, um, the tongue weight um, is basically the only difference. So it's processing the payment. So yeah, now my weight is 4,940 pounds. And so I'll compare that to the end of the weight. And um, pretty much I'll know exactly what my, um, what my tongue weight is. So that'll be really cool. So I'm pretty much done. So looking at the scales, let's go outside real quick. Don't have any, any I don't have anybody behind me. So my wheels are basically on this particular scale and um, when I went through the first time, then my trailer was on this particular scale right here. And so, yeah, so you basically make sure your wheels are on this scale for the vehicle and your trailer's over here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and it's all online, so it makes it real easy. And yeah, it didn't have anybody behind me, so it was really great. So I'll, let's get home and look at the numbers and we'll see kind of what, you know, what our weight are, weights are. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I'm back from the cat station. 
let's talk about the numbers that we got. So for the first weigh-in, um, my vehicle was 5,160 pounds and the trailer weight was 2,020 pounds for a total combined weight rating of 7,180 pounds. So then I unhitched and just weighed my vehicle and that was 4,950 pounds. So to determine our tongue weight, all we have to do is subtract the unhitched vehicle weight, which was that second vehicle weight, and then we subtract that from the hitched vehicle weight, and that will give us our tongue weight, which came out to 210 pounds. So now to determine our total trailer weight, all we have to do is take the original trailer weight on the first weigh in and basically just add the tongue weight. Um, and that came to a total of 2,230 pounds. So now this is where things start getting a little bit interesting. So now I wanna compare the A-liner real weight, the tongue weight, to the cat scale tongue weight. And my A-liner real weight is 193 pounds on the tongue. When I compare that to the cat scale weight, it's actually almost spot on. There is some debate about whether or not A-liner includes the propane tanks, not the actual propane itself, but the propane tanks in their dry weight calculations. And it seems to me like they do based on the calculations that I made for the tongue weight. So just a note that I did subtract the battery weight as well as the cargo weight that adds some tongue weight because those don't go into typical dry weight calculations for the tongue. So the one thing I'm kind of disappointed in and confused on is the A-liner real weight as far as the total trailer weight. So on my sticker, it says my A-liner real weight is 1,820 pounds for the trailer. However, when I figured in the cat scale weight and I subtracted my cargo weight, um, it came to a total of 1,986 pounds, which is basically a little over 165 pounds off. So this might not seem like that big of a deal to some folks, but for me, I don't have the most capable tow vehicle and 160 pounds makes a big difference. I'm still trying to figure out what could be at issue because the tongue weight was spot on. So if anybody out there has any ideas on what could be causing this difference, um, if you could please comment and let me know, I'd really appreciate it. So before visiting the Catscale, I meticulously took all the items out of my trailer that I typically take camping with me. And I weighed each item and put it into a spreadsheet because I'm anal like that. And yeah, I don't exactly know what I'm missing. So I am gonna put a call into A-Liner to see if there's some things or some accessories that they don't include in that dry weight. So perhaps, I'm assuming maybe the stove that can be moved inside and outside isn't included and maybe the mattress for the permanent bed isn't included, but I really don't know. And I would like to get some clarification from A-Liner on why the weights are different. And if they do come up with an answer, I'll make sure and update everybody so that you guys will also have a good idea on what is and isn't included on the A-Liner dry weight. So for just under $15, you can get your trailer weighed. They've got cat stations all over the United States and their new app is super easy to use. So give yourself some peace of mind in knowing exactly what your trailer weighs and exactly what the tongue weight is. For my next video, I'll be doing a gas mileage test with my RAV4 Prime towing my A-Liner. So if you have a smallish SUV, you might be really interested in this video. It'll show up on the end screen. As always, if you got some value from this video, please like it. YouTube really looks at the likes and it really helps my channel. Also, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any content. And I hope to see you in the next one again very soon. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago